Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. This time we are going to be talking about Gauntlet on the NES. So the thing to remember here is this is a port of an arcade game. So you're really just trying to get the high score. You have four different characters to choose from, and each of them have their own stats. So that's kind of cool. You kind of decide how you want to go through this. Every single attack is a ranged attack, so you don't really need to worry too much. You just kind of decide how hard you want the game. In this, you are just fighting endless waves of monsters until you eventually destroy their you know, little spawning point which is seen by the little skull and crossbones there. Now it can be a little hard, obviously, if you choose one of the weaker characters, like I've got the little archer here. He sucks. And yeah, it can be a little hard to sort of line up your shots and everything. It's one of the you know problems that the game has when you're taking something that's a port and moving it into an NES, where the control scheme is not exactly you know the same or accurate to what the arcade experience would be. So the fun part about this is it's two player. I think the arcade game, uh, or at least the original one, was three player, but don't quote me on that exactly. You, The weird thing about this, I wish the NES had done a better job of kind of optimizing this for the home console, because you, your health just constantly goes down throughout the game, so you have to try to find food as you go along. The problem is there's not a lot of food, and you can accidentally shoot them food by mistake. There is one thing I like, though. The game calls you out on it, so yeah. You, you can't really say, oh, I didn't shoot it, because, well, the game's going to tell you, and your friend's going to remind you of that. The NES version is how I originally played the game. I unfortunately never got a chance to play it in the arcades, and I didn't know it was an arcade game until much later on. So the only way I ever played this game was over at a friend's house, because I don't remember ever renting it at all. It is a lot of fun to play. It can just be very frustrating at times, especially when you get into the further levels where, yeah, you, you kind of you kind of get screwed if you didn't actually conserve your health or anything like that, or if you didn't really know how to play and you were just running through this. It happened to me quite a few times where I was just running through the game when I was younger and did not really know what I was doing. I think the first time I ended up playing this was over at a neighbor's house, and I can't remember... I don't remember if they owned it or if they had rented it, but I remember playing it and watching them getting really far in it, and it you know, seemed like a pretty simple game and everything, so I wanted to sit down and play it, and I really just got my ass handed, <laughs> handed to me. I really did not know what the hell I was doing, and even now it's kind of hard to know what I'm doing, just because uh, this is not a game that I'm particularly good at. I prefer a lot of the PS1 titles uh, or the Dreamcast title of uh, Gauntlet Legends where it was where it was reimagined, still an arcade game but a much much better version of this. I do enjoy the game. I like the fact that you have different characters to pick from, uh, each one has their own stats and it is a pretty enjoyable experience. There are ups and downs to having either characters. Some of them can't shoot through those little gaps in the stone. Some of them can. Uh, some of them are considerably stronger against certain enemies. Some, you know, much weaker. There's just a lot going on with the game that makes it a ton of fun to play. The stuff that I don't like is really going to be limited to just the NES port. I don't like that there is just one life. Like, if you are playing as the warrior or the barbarian, and you lose the barbarian, then that character's gone, you just have to move on to one of the others. I don't like that it makes you restart the game after you die, so you only have one life. 
and I think losing um, losing your health over time is just really freaking stupid. So there are no continues, no extra lives. Your health depletes automatically. The food's not really all that plentiful for you to try to get. And yeah, it really feels like they should have done more to bring this experience to the home console than what they did. It's still a very fun game, but it's lacking an awful lot. Especially when you're trying to translate something from the arcade to a home console. You would expect some kind of concession to be made, but no, it, it feels like Atari just kept the whole quarter muncher thing and you know, just brought the entire game over and didn't really make any concessions to the gameplay with it. So my final thoughts on Gauntlet. It is a really fun game. It's still very much a quarter muncher, even when you brought it over to the NES. I This is one of those games where I don't even know how long the thing is, because I never came close to the end. So, yeah, I... I have I've had a lot of fun with it, but I've had a lot more fun with some of the the later versions, so like the Gauntlet Legends, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, that sort of thing. This first one still kind of stands out for me for how different it was and how it apparently copied another game that I had never heard of before called Dark Chambers, which is I've played Dark Chambers and I think it's kind of a horrible game, but that's besides the point. It's just very cool to see this and to play it again and go back and revisit it. It's really a, a lot of fun, and it's one of those series where I want it to come back in some way, even though I'm not totally sure how they would do it, and I'm pretty confident it would get messed up or not received as well as it would have been back in the 80s and 90s. Anyway, that's going to wrap things up, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.